Hello, and welcome to your guided somatic exercises. My name is Caitlin, and I will facilitate today's session. As you navigate your movement practice, I would encourage you to have a blanket and to focus on what it feels like in your body instead of concerning yourself with what the movement looks like. However you receive my cues today to move and explore your body is perfect. Please join me reclined on your back. Adjust the blanket so it's under your neck and your head. And hug both knees in towards your chest. If there's a lot of resistance in your hip flexors, pull your knees a little wider towards your shoulders or towards your armpits. Initiate the breath. Take a deep inhale. Let your low belly and low back expand. And a complete exhale. Low belly and low back soften. Try that on again. Take a deep breath in. Widen your ribs. Fill up your chest. And on your exhale, release to a full body stretch. This is quite passive as you extend your legs, let your feet flop open, and elongate your arms over your head. Take a bend in your elbows. Now close your eyes and begin to rotate your right ankle. Notice how your right heel drags around your mat or the floor. And then switch direction of your right ankle rotation. Let your knee get involved, even your right thigh and right hip. The energy flows all the way down into your right toes as you point and flex. Stay with that action. Point your right toes, squeeze your foot straight, and then flex your right foot. Draw your right toes up towards your right hip and your face. Maintain that point and flex, and then become really still through your right foot and right leg. A little more familiar, switch your attention over to your left foot and begin to rotate your left ankle only. Whichever direction you start with, maintain it. Notice how your heel moves. Feel the texture of the floor, the mat, the stability or the cushion, and then switch direction of your left ankle rotations. Your eyes are soft, your upper body is heavy and held. While you rotate your left ankle, moving the left knee and left hip as needed. Now come back to the point through your left toes, your left foot is flat and straight, and then flex through your left toes. Pull the toes up and kick your heel forward. Again, you point, take your time, and you flex. What does this feel like? Point, elongate through the toes, and flex, stretch the back of your left heel. Again, you point, and you flex. Get really still through your left foot. Left foot just flops open. And now feel into your right hand and right wrist. Begin to rotate your right wrist. Notice what this feels like to focus on your smaller joints. Switch direction of your right wrist rotations. Head is heavy, legs and feet are still. Will you feel into your right wrist? And then open your five right fingers, spread down to the webbing and curl your right fingers into a gentle fist. Again, you'll extend out through right fingers, big high five through the hand, and then curl in a mild fist. Do that a few more times. Outstretch five right fingers, curl into a gentle fist. Then wiggle your fingers, get really still through the right hand. Switch your attention to the left hand and left wrist. Start with your left wrist rotations. Whichever direction you start with, maintain that effort. Just what does it feel like to focus on the smaller joint? Switch direction of your left wrist rotations. Left elbow and shoulder stay heavy. Hips are held, feet flop open. Spread through your five left fingers, big high five through the palm, and then curl into a mild fist. Extend and lengthen. 
curl into a gentle fist. Extend, open palm, spread fingers, curl into a gentle fist. Get really still through the left hand, and then lower your arms down at your sides, palms down, fingers spread. Bend into your knees, plant your feet on the mat, and then take your feet mats with distance, angle your toes in, and knock your inner bent knees together. Your arms lift up over your head, backs of hands touch the floor, and then lower your arms back to the mat at your sides. Arms lift up overhead, take your time. Arms come down, palms touch mat or palms touch floor. Now focus on the shoulders, what does this feel like? Arms elongate overhead, passive, there's no strain. Palms come down towards your outer hips, feel fingers touch floor. Arms lift up overhead, what does this feel like in your body? Arms and hands come down, there's no urgency, no rush. Arms rise over your head. Arms lower, palms touch mat or floor. Take your palms to your front ribs. And bring the soles of your feet together, knees splay wide. Let your hips open. Now you'll keep your outer feet connected to the mat, the pinky toe sides or the outer heels. Any amount, try to close off the knees, keep your outer feet grounded, and then open your knees, open your hips. Outer feet stay grounded, that way you mobilize your ankles. Draw the knees towards one another, hug the midline, and then open your knees, a heaviness through your outer legs. And outer feet stay grounded, close off the knees, draw them towards one another. Open through hips, heavy through outer knees. And just what does this feel like? Close off the knees, outer feet stay grounded. Open hips, open knees, a sense of heaviness. Now hug your right knee in towards your chest. Let your left leg go long. Pull your right knee a little wider towards your right armpit and right shoulder. Any amount, cross your right knee over towards the left. Your left chest, left armpit. And then come back to where you started, right knee towards the right shoulder, pass through the middle, guide your right knee over to the left. Let sensation move around the depth of your hip crease and hip flexor, right knee towards right shoulder, and then right knee over to the left. Interlace your fingers on right hamstrings, and then straighten your right leg any amount up towards your ceiling. You'll rebend into the right knee, and then extend out through the right leg, right heel. What does this feel like to move through space and time? A straight right leg, kick high, rebend into your right knee. A straight right leg, smooth and steady. Rebend into your right knee. Resist any urgency, straight right leg. And a bend into your right knee. Keep your neck soft. Then elongate through your right leg. Feel a sense of heaviness through your heels, your hands. Take a big breath in. And a complete breath out. Hug your left knee in towards your chest. Then you'll pull your left knee a little wider towards the left shoulder. Cross your midline and guide your left knee over to the right. Again, guide your left knee towards left shoulder. Keep it high and tight. Left knee over towards the right shoulder. It's not a huge range in motion. Just take your time. Be curious. What does it feel like to move your left knee to the left? Across the midline and over to the right. Moving sensation around your left hip crease and left hip flexor. Fingers interlace on left hamstrings as you straighten left leg up towards your ceiling. And without urgency, rebend your left knee. Straighten out through the left leg 
And then rebend into your left knee. Straighten and rebend. Resist the rush as you straighten and rebend. No white knuckles through the fingers. Straighten your left leg, kick high. Rebend into your left knee. Let your left leg go long to meet your right. Heels ground, feet flop open. Take a deep breath in and a complete breath out. Arms open, big capital T. You bend your left knee, plant your left foot, and then open back through center, extend your left leg long. Bend your right knee, plant your right foot, roll to the left, take right hand to left. Come back through center, level the shoulders, and extend your right leg. Bend your left knee, press into left foot, roll to the right, take left hand to right, drag your palm across the chest, Come back to center and extend your left leg. Bend your right knee, plant your right foot, roll to the left, take your right hand to your left, drag your right hand across the chest, open arm, straight right leg. Bend your left knee, plant your left foot, roll to your right, left hand to right, drag open, chest open, left leg long. Bend your right knee, press right foot, right hand to left. Drag the right hand, open your chest, and extend your right leg long. Bend your left knee, plant your left foot, roll to the right. Drag your arms open, capital T, left leg long. Right knee bend, press right foot, roll to the left. Open your chest, extend your right leg. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. Drop both knees to the right and gaze to the left. Lift knees through center, legs to the left, gaze to the right. Bent knees through center, drop them to the right, gaze to the left. Feet stay wide, bent knees through center, drop them to the left and gaze to the right. Knees through center, head through center. Knees to the right, look to the left. Knees through center, head through center. Look to the right, knees to the left. Find the middle, knees and gaze. Knees to the right, look to the left. Knees through center, head through center. Look to the right, knees to the left. Find your middle. Take a full body stretch, arms and legs elongate. See if you can get a little longer through your right toes, right leg. Relax that effort and then get a little longer through the left heel, left leg. Relax that effort. Get a little longer through your right fingers, right arm. Lift the right ribs. Relax that effort. Get a little longer through your left arm, left ribs. Relax that effort. Get equally long through all four limbs. Ten fingers, ten toes, two arms, two legs. Hug both knees into your chest, full wind relieving pose. Rock and roll the length of your spine. Join me upright in Sukhasana. And that will complete today's somatic exercises. I do hope that you found benefit from this guided movement practice, very gentle, very kind to the central nervous system and physical body. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.